Okay, people, today we are going to talk about the assemblies over here. So as I have talked about this before too, that if your model is made out of different parts, don't try to make out the whole part inside a single part mode. Or always try to make different parts and combine them in the assembly mode. So for this session, we, I have already built up some parts which are right over here. I'm going to share these with you. You can try them with your own parts or you can try to build up these ones, replicate them. So let's get on with it. So for uh, the assembly thing, you need to again go to file. First of all, you need to select your working directory to a folder in which your parts are in. And this time you're going to click on new and assembly. Give your assembly any name. Let's name it second. Uncheck use default template and go on and click on your system of units you want to work in. In the new window, you can again see the three planes uh, you are accustomed to see as in the part mode. You can also sketch new parts and build them over here inside uh, the assembly mode, but I would not recommend it. I would always recommend to build up those parts inside the part mode and then import them over here. Let's import our first part. So I'm going to click on assemble. And you can see that it would open up my working directory by default and I can choose any part which I built it over here and if you click on this preview you can always preview the part you are going to import so I'm going to import the connecting rod one first this is my first part and I want it to be like fixed and I want, I want to place my all of my other parts with reference to this one. So I'm going to fix it in the space as is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to method as manual. And connection type rigid. And current constraint fix. You can see the status as fully constrained. Press OK and leave. I don't need these planes right now and they are kind of obstructing my view. Uh, I'm going to shut them off. You can always turn on one or two or more things what you really need or turn them off if you like. Now let's import our second part again assemble connecting rod 2 i'm importing now i need this part to be placed somewhere over here i'm zooming in and zooming out using my mouse scroll wheel so i'm going to define some constraints some rules or uh, some set of rules that Creo is going to follow and those rules are going to define where my part exactly is inside this assembly. So my first rule is or my first constraint is that this hole inside hole is coincident with the this hole. And my second constraint is going to be this face is coincident with this one. And my, do I need a third constraint? Fully constrained using assumptions. If I don't allow the assumptions, it's already assuming that it is fixed over here, but let's, we can just define a new constraint to be on the safe side and align, orient this hole with this one. We have first step of our assembly ready. 
let's keep on importing parts this time i'm going to import the bolt outside of this thing is going to be go coincident with the inside of this and if i by mistake placed a bad constraint i can always just right click on it and remove it and i'm going to go with this face getting coincident with this one change the constraint type to coincident new constraint and orient this thing with this over here press ok to exit 